hows and thing that how this blunder you can utilize of course it's a check from the bishop discovering an attack on the queen and queen is undefended and in this way he loses the queen everyone welcome to systematic chess club and today i am going to show you how to beat the french defense uh, there will be some traps that we will be discussing and uh, they are milner barry trap milner barry gambit milner barry variations and monte carlo variations and there are four variations in the monte carlo and four variations in the milner barry trap this is part of the podcast uh, mastering chess combination opponent plays e6 so this is french defense and there are many variations in this and it is one of the widely played openings at highest level you play d4 and then black plays d5 you have many ways either you go for capturing then he captures it back that is called french defense exchange variation and if you push it then it is called french defense advanced variation now you have posed it he immediately attacks the center black wants to attack this pawn he keeps on attacking to this pawn you defend it with c5 however there are other variations knight 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 these all variations are playable so this is the position and now let me show you a wonderful idea here that you are playing with the white pieces he attacks your d4 pawn knight f3 you defend it again he brings the queen and these are the main line variations of Olsen attack that is french defense advanced variation and now you bring the bishop to d3 and this is a very good move and if black is not aware about this he may fall into the trap because you have set a trap the idea is that he sees that you have cut off the queen from the defense of this pawn he captures it you capture it back he captures it you capture it and he captures with the queen and he thinks that he has won a piece but actually he has blundered his queen and i request you to pause and think that how this blunder you can utilize of course it's a check from the bishop discovering an attack on the queen and queen is undefended and in this way he loses the queen let us go to the next trap immediately this is also milner barry gambit and i will immediately show you what happens here uh, let me go to the start of the game. It's e4, e6, French defense, d4, d5. You go for the advanced variation and they attack the d4 pawn. You defend it. The knight comes into the action and you put the knight defending it again. He again puts a pressure on d4. This is the idea in the French. This pawn is the most important pawn. And now bishop d3, bishop d7, castles. So most experienced French players will play this preparing now to win the pawn on d4 as now bishop b5 check is no longer uh, possible because the bishop is over here and you cannot check discovering the attack so he can try to win that you castle this is a brilliant move he captures you capture it back he captures it you capture it he captures it with the queen so he he has won the pawn but is he right now you cannot go for a check because the bishop is here so what are you going to do you play knight c3 this is a good move very very good move he captures the pawn rook e1 attacking the queen and now queen c7 and queen d4 are the two options that he may opt for so queen d4 or queen c7 in both the situations black wants to keep the d5 pawn but now we have if he plays queen c7 a normal looking move like this would just lose a pawn but actually knight captures on d5 queen c6 this cannot capture because you are having an attack on the queen bishop b5 and now see what happens if he captures if he captures what will happen if he captures uh, the so if he captures the bishop you are going to fork 
immediately winning the game if he plays queen to d6 then bishop b4 this queen c5 bishop captures d7 check king d7 and look now knight b6 check what happens if he captures can you see you get the rook so why the queen is not capturing it that is to be understood you have attacked the queen he comes back you take the bishop he captures it you go for a check why because it is a double check from the queen and the knight so he cannot capture it he goes there and you win the so this is very important these three ideas that we taught now you have a brilliant move here in this position queen d4 if he plays queen d4 so we just saw queen c7 idea then now queen d4 so what happens here f captures this is a check winning the queen and i think this ideas you are grasping and you are enjoying these videos now let us go to the next one so what happens here this is episode number eight of my podcast here we discuss about the opening and now i don't have to tell you that this is french defense advanced variation c5 main line variation defensing attacking so this far it is similar move now bishop comes to d3 this is a good move bishop d7 in order to take the d4 pawn you castle he captures you capture he captures you capture he captures now what knight c3 of course queen captures the pawn rook e1 attacking the queen and now queen goes to d6 so this is considered to be the main move actually so we saw that this move and this move how you attack in the first two parts and now you attack the queen threatening to go for a check he comes to b6 now what you attack the queen again he comes and blocks with the bishop is it good is it of any use can you find and this is one of the most common move on leeches or chess.com you capture he captures you attack him he goes back you go for a check and win the rook clearly it's fine if you can't remember all these variation you just need to keep attacking the opponent's queen and remember that they are geniuses so it's fine to keep just pushing your pieces up and now let me get a revision of this idea because i went it a bit quicker and in this way you win this now let us go to the next problem and then after this we will be doing the monte carlo variation now i don't need to tell you that this is the advanced variation of french defense he attacks same moves this is the fundamental opening and this is also preparing your opening of french defense how to play it right now we are looking on it with the so so far similar now you play knight to c3 and now he don't take the e5 pawn in fact he played this move so that he can stop your knight going from there now simply defend your pawn knight e7 you just move away uh, this is a really a good move to get out of this nasty diagonal because you need to plan to play it and now you attack the queen he captures it you attack it back he goes back now you again attack he defends with the bishop rook a d1 is a very very sneaky move which lines the rook up with the queen and he castles and this is a blunder why this is a blunder this is also one of the most played moves because now you push your pawn he captures it you capture it with a rook and this is a brilliant move don't be shy in capturing it giving up your rook if he captures now see you go for a check he captures it you go for a check he goes back you bring the knight attacking the queen he brings the queen you go for a check he goes there you go for another check he goes there you go capture it he has the only move and now it's a checkmate 
so this is these are the ideas that you have to know now let us go to the another variation in the french defense and that is monte carlo variation and if you are enjoying these videos consider subscribing to systematic chess i'm a very small youtube channel and i need not tell you that this is exchange variation so monte carlo variation happens in the exchange variation uh, this is considered to be a very interesting move you gain a space with the deep on and now he plays knight f6 knight c3 bishop b4 knight f3 castles bishop d3 rook e8 check you defend it with the bishop to e3 knight g4 castles knight captures e3 f captures e3 rook captures e3 from blacks d5 to their 10 rook captures e3 all of these black moves were the most played on leeches and knight captures forking the rook and the bishop he captures your bishop you capture it and this is the position from where you must be completely winning there is no way that you won't win now let us go in the next possible variation of monte Carlo. so there is also orthos cap gambit that is also very strong uh, we will check it out So well it has started e4 e6 d4 d5 now you capture it in defense exchange variation immediately you attack the central pawn he comes and pins your knight you go there and now he goes for a check and so far it is similar now he attacks with takes your bishop you take it with the pawn he capture your knight this time because he knew that if he captures this pawn with the rook you are going to fork him so he wants ki okay let's exchange the knight and the bishop and then i will capture this is again a mistake this is fairly speaking this is again a mistake knight e5 what are you going to do you bring the bishop you sacrifice your bishop he captures it you go for a check he goes back you now sacrifice your knight he captures it you go for a check he goes there and now now what with this move white must win and now let us go to the fourth variation of Monte Carlo and these are the combinations that you have to go through to improve your game again this is exchange variation I did not tell you and these moves I think you knew this is a check you defend it now here he captures the pawn you capture it he pins your knight you get your rook on this very very strong diagonal threatening to take this pawn he captures your knight you capture it he captures it first you go for a check intermediate move he moves there you pick the rook he goes for this move and now you wanted that this would get the open file so you left it and here with an extra exchange you are definitely going to win it and then there is the third type the os cap gambit uh this we will be covering e4 e6 c4 d5 c captures d5 now e captures d5 this is a stenier variation of french defense you attack uh, you bring the queen immediately and as was so scary it was the main reason uh, usually it is difficult to play you go there and now he captures it you capture the knight check comes there and clearly clearly you see that this is 80 percent win rate and this is going to be a fun so let us see the next gambit he captures from the outside he captures it and these are the moves that are similar in this stenier variation of ortho uh, scap variation and now here he captures it you defend it he go for there he captures it and now you bring your bishop and now what he captures it you attack the queen you take the rook, uh, knight with the rook he captures it and this is a brilliant brilliant move what he is going to do you go for a check pick the knight so clearly this these are the ideas these are the combinations that are going to help you there are many other more uh, variations that we cover in the short form of the videos and this podcast is all about learning the combinations and these combinations will surely help you win many matches at least if, if you know the combinations you will not fill into the trap thank you so much for watching see you
in the next video.